one here from our top four match. We're going to start over on the left side of your screen. Uh, the under. The Iron Thorn DX definitely plays way better into other specific matchups, but it still has play in this matchup. We'll see how uh, Fernando fares. And what is in the prize cards? I, Two net Yeah, balls. we're just Two talking about this. Balls. You You need to search out your Pokemon <laughs> unless they're already in the hand. That's a terrifying oh, thing to see. Oh, no. Not too bad for Fernando, but honestly, what does he need? <laughs> just, just exactly. A couple Iron Thorns, let's roll. And these, yeah, and all of these cards have duplicates in the deck here, but this is huge for Jetsy Parker because as as we know, the Iron Thorns EX, it does shut down uh, abilities of rule box Pokemon. So that tandem unit ability on the Maridon EX will be shut down. And that's usually what leads you to chaining all these Pokemon, getting them out onto your field. But you have a little bit of support there in those nest balls, but there's two in the prize cards for Jesse Parker. Yeah, that's it's so devastating to see. Obviously, Jesse doesn't know that yet, but let's yeah, get true. a fist bump. Let's get underway here. And whoa, that's a Pokemon to start with. We were hyping oh, it up. It's Zapdos. That is up. incredible. Who needs Zest Balls anyway, right? Yeah. Well, we still might need some. Let's not uh, speak yeah, that's too. true. Uh, <laughs> let's not speak too soon. But yes, Zapdos is in the active position here for Jesse as we start off our Masters Top 8 between Jesse Parker and Fernando Cifuentes here. We're starting off with the Town Store coming into play nice and early for Jesse. And that's going to get us a quick look into the deck here. You could see him eyeing up all of these Pokemon, seeing what resources he has. Uh, in the deck and what is in the prize cards. Of course, access to the four seal stone is something you think about very often with a card like the town store, but we don't see a Pokemon that can use this card yet. Use the ability star alchemy. And now you start to wonder what's in the hand. Yes, you have Zapdos. The ability to deal 10 additional damage lines up so well with Maridon dealing 220 damage. Perfect math for the Iron Thorns. But do you have additional Pokemon to help here? That's going to be the story, and we're going to have to wait to open those chapters here as Jesse uh, glances through the deck and starts to select some cards out. You know, it's interesting, Kyle. We have a little extra lore here oh. between these players. They both started out here at the World Championships 8-0, and and Jesse Parker was actually the first person to hand a loss to Fernando Cifuentes. Yeah, I guess the, they started off the uh, the day two here with, yeah. that, with that big match, and that is... <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of pressure there, but you can only imagine what it looks like here in the top four. Exactly. Uh, yeah, top four, the stakes are even higher at this point in time. And Jesse Parker is churning through this turn here. So we're starting off, at least we have some play here. We're getting that uh, Ryko V down onto the bench, as well as that four seal storm, uh, stor uh, stone iron bundle is going to come out onto the bench as well. Yeah, well, safety first. You have a Pokemon ready to attack next yeah. turn, if anything. Uh, crazy were to happen, and Raikou has that Forest Seal Stone ready to go, too. So a supporter is guaranteed next turn, but you know what isn't Ooh. guaranteed? 
Energy. Hey, the energy, it's going to be a heads on that crushing hammer, discarding that energy that was placed on the former turn there for Jesse Parker. So Fernando already having a nice time with the coin flips so far here, should I say dice rolls. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this Zapdos that's in the active position. Why is this such an essential card here in this matchup, Kyle? Yeah, just the fact that this is the, one of the few abilities that you get to keep. I think it's the only ability that, that you really is. keep yeah. in the game <laughs> other than uh, a hyper blower. But at this point, just t 10 additional damage is so impactful when you're trying to knock out a Pokemon like the Iron Thorns, Maridon, typically the attacker you want to go with if you can incorporate those additional energies by way of Electric Generator. But this is a slow setup, and we don't see any of that just yet. At this point, Jesse just wants to find some way to attack and deal relevant damage, maybe two-shot some of these Iron Thorns that will inevitably be seen. Well, here we go. We see the Professor's Research discarding a nice few cards there for Fernando into fresh seven. Let's see what we could see uh, as far as cards into this brand new hand, the Prime Catcher, a couple of energy here, as well as a Judge and a Boss's Orders for Fernando. We're going to get that energy attachment. That's what we need to start getting into these uh, the damage from this Iron Thorns EX. But where's the Pokemon? <laughs> it that's cannot true. cash in on the Turbo Energize. It's just the pass of the turn. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting. So usually we don't even see that happen because the 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 technical machines always discard at the end of the turn. That's how it works here in the TCG, and usually you want to use it. Yeah. But you can't this time around, so it still gets discarded without zero uh, utility. So that's kind of unfortunate there for Fernando. And I mean, the other unfortunate piece is just not having a Pokemon on the bench either. We saw that not go too well for him earlier in some matches. So Jesse Parker is going to just have to stay calm, cool, collected, and keep churning through these turns. Right, there is one professor's research in the deck. Maybe that's a card that you can target down with the Forest Seal Stone. And then if all the cards fall right, you could see a Maridon, uh, Electric Generator, Energy, a Switch card, some way to, well, we see the Escape Board there, or Rescue Board yeah. help out too. So I know, I always call it that as well. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to skate. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, we could see everything come together potentially here for Jesse. Really happy that Zapdos does not have a rule box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a really impactful 10 additional damage that we could see. Yes, exactly. Also worth noting for Fernando, uh, after starting 8-0, uh, only uh, had those two losses to his record, and both of them were Maridon backs. Oh, so no. It's very hey. happy to be at the top four, but you don't want to see this. I was about to say, may, well, who knows, Kyle? Maybe it's time, we've been saying it all weekend, to flip the script. Okay. Who knows? I mean, that's not going to happen, potentially, because there's not even a Pheasantipity there. But <laughs> All right, here's the hand. There is potential for fireworks. Professor's research is going to get us an additional seven cards here, fresh seven cards for Jesse. What do we see, Kyle? Anything we can work with? Mm, nope. Oh, uh, This bummer. does not work out. Yes, there is a little bit of search there, the Ultra Ball to help out. And there is supporter for following turns, but no fireworks this go around. And Yes, you have that double turbo attached to the Zapdos. Probably going to have to retreat into the Iron Bundle and just pass the turn over here soon. Yeah, well, at least like you said, Kyle, I mean, you kind of uh, wrote it on the chalkboard before we even started this matchup here that it's going to be slower. It's going to be pretty slow paced here for Jesse, but we're still trying to piece together everything for the later tur turns of this game. Wow, that is a fancy looking card. And it is that Maridon EX coming down. Unfortunately, unable to use that tandem unit ability thanks to the Iron Thorns EX. But we've got some uh, some future action on both sides of the field. I guess in the, the Iron Bundle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's just happy to be a part of the team at this rate. Oh, yes. This is where we see how much Jesse values this Zapdos. <laughs> says, I really don't want to attack into the Iron Thorns twice. That's when Penny yep. starts happening. That's when bad stuff goes wrong, and I, I'd rather just give you this. Yep, that Iron Bundle going to be, unfortunately, the sacrificial Iron Bundle this time around. But it's going up. It's still helping the team. It's got a nice way to pivot out of the active position with that rescue board in the future. And it's kind of uh, putting some safety onto the bench there for Jesse. But not for long.
because no. we have the prime catcher bringing that Zapdos right back up. Now we have to put the rest of the pieces together here for Fernando to start getting some prize cards and some damage down. Yep. And at this uh, point in the game, Fernando just one card at a time is going to thin down a little more. Double turbo energy, obviously the most important piece of this puzzle. If you find that, you're going to be in a great spot. Poke Gears are in the hand, so potential to run into some of those unique supporter cards that we don't always see, and uh, maybe one of those is beneficial to uh, working out of this spot, dealing with the Zapdos, and preserving all of the hit points on all of these Iron Thorns that will inevitably be seen. Exactly. Or Judge Ooh. to four, here we go. Judging to four here, both of our players are going to shuffle up, draw four cards to the hand on both sides. We also saw the utilization of that town store. It's our stadium card, so both players have access to it to get those tool cards out. We saw that future booster energy capsule come down onto that Iron Thorn DX in the active here. Give it some free retreat, some boosted damage as well, plus 20. There, let's see what the four cards we're going to see for Fernando. Oh, the lotto. Spin the wheel. Spin in the wheel. The original wheel. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> energy lotto. Can we see some energy? Wow. Oh, we see it. <laughs> the double turbo energy coming out. That was the missing piece to start uh, getting some damage out. Volt Cyclone, it's not going to just be damage, too. It's going to be a knockout there. 140 damage that it does as soon as you get that double turbo. Well, I guess, oh, no, it's it's canceled out because the uh, the tool card. Yeah. It, yeah. We're, we're still in knockout, which is fine. <laughs> but, but, yeah, the energies aren't going anywhere at this point. It is the single Iron Thorns hanging out. And Woo! Jesse still has Doing his to thing. answer some questions. <laughs> yes, now we have that one piece of the puzzle that Jesse did have in the discard pile in that Zapdos. So we'll have to see what happens here. We need to start seeing some of these cards being put together here for Jesse. His hand is almost good. Almost. <laughs> what is it missing, Kyle? Uh, abilities. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, what else is it missing, Kyle? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, oh, a good supporter. Uh, the boss's it. orders is in hand. And so unfortunately, that's not doing anything right now. There is an energy for the turn, which is something that we've been missing on this side of the board. Looks like some Pokemon could be found by way of the Ultra Balls, but you're just thinning out so many resources at this point. And yeah. this is the problem when you don't have abilities and you play just that one Professor's Research. You're really banking on burning through the deck with cards like Squawk Ability. Instead, you're just here drawing one piece of the puzzle at the time, and it, it doesn't line up. You're just a little slow. Yeah, this is the opposite of what we usually see from a Rhydon EX. It has those abilities. It gets tons of Pokemon out. It starts taking huge knockouts once you have all of your energy uh, accelerated onto the field. And yeah, if you don't have access to those cards and you're not being able to thin out your deck even faster, I mean, that's even just a major thing on from the tandem unit alone is getting those Pokemon out onto your field so they're not in your deck anymore, clogging up the space, and you have some better draws. Well, you know what you need to do when you have a low hand? Motivate. Motivate the troops. <laughs> motivate the troops. I can't even tell you, Kyle, I did not expect Squawk Ability to motivate this many times at the World Championships, but we're getting motivated here. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Squawk Ability EX, not able to use the Squawk and Seize since it is a rule box Pokemon, but it's still able to motivate that energy attached to it, and that's going to accelerate some energy here for Jesse. Just playing out a few more cards, and at this point, one card in hand. Fernando really wishing this is not a basic lightning energy at this point. Yes. <laughs> well, that here is we a turn. See there's uh, 20 damage now onto Whoa. that Iron Thorn TX. The one Techno Radar there to find some additional help. Yeah. There's one Techno Radar in the prize cards, and then top, top decking a Techno Radar here is huge for Fernando. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. I want to hit you now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mariah on EX being promoted there off of that Pokemon catcher from Fernando hitting the heads. Poke Gear also going to take us into a fresh seven cards. Can get a supporter off of that, and Arvin, fantastic supporter to have to draw out even more cards from your deck and start to align these pieces as well. You don't I like mean, judging the one card hand? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't think I would do that, Kyle. I don't think I would do All that. All right, fair enough. I think we'll stick them with that and have a good time here. <laughs> I think Fernando's seen everything he wants to at this point. All the resources are lining up just fine. 
Yeah, on the opposite side of the field. That's what we needed to happen for Jesse Parker, but it's happening here right now for Fernando back on stage and making things happen with this Iron Thorns EX. Oh, Arvin with a chance to solidify a few more resources. At this point, what do you really need? Seems I mean, like the answer is to just keep looking for more stuff. I'll, yeah, when I do exactly. need it to find an answer, I'll get there. Yep, I don't even think, uh, yeah, it doesn't even have a tool card to be drawn out there. Uh, it's just the Poke Gear 3.0 for the item card here for Fernando. Get into some supporters down the line. I believe there's already a bunch of supporters in, in the hands, too. Well, not much else really to do, to do here. <laughs> Sure, you can oh, counter I the stadium, yeah. avoid Bump the town one store. more card being found by Jesse, but here comes the attack, and all eyes on Jesse Parker. What's he got? Yes, indeed. We're in the lost Ooh. city now. Well, Ooh, this kind of right? works. Uh, can we get somewhere here, Kyle? That is a card we've been waiting to see here in that electric generator. Oh. Uh, moving. All right, we need to see at least one. <laughs> Oh, this is huge here. Can we see some energy? Look at that. Oh, oh, we got not one, but two energy here for Jesse Parker being placed onto these benched Pokemon thanks to Electric Generator. That is one piece of the puzzle that we've been needing to see. Then right on EX, jumped to the back, got loaded up here, and Jesse Parker has some play in this turn. Yeah, that's, I mean, uh, those two cards were perfect. It yeah. lines up so well. You preserve some of those hit points on the Maridon. Maybe it's going to stick around for a little bit longer here. And at the same time, you have an attack for a knockout. You get Woo! some additional resources. Maybe they can help. Exactly. We'll have to see, though. And that Iron Thorns EX is in the Lost Zone and thanks to Lost City. We're switching right back over to Fernando, who's hoping to find a supporter of his own. Well, that Poke Gear hopefully can help out. We do see a Penny and an Arvin from that Poke Gear through. Oh, and a Judge. At this point, do you believe their opponent has some help from those two cards from the prizes? Yeah. Is it worth playing this card? That's we'll see the before the crushing hammer. Wow. Heads once again here. Fernando just cannot. Hit a Tails at this point in time. Crushing Hammer going to discard that energy off of the Maridon EX. Destabilizing Jesse Parker even more just when he got a little bit further there with that knockout on the first Iron Thorns. Well, with this judge, still questions need to be answered. First of all, where's that lightning energy? Yes. <laughs> you need to attack this turn. You need to continue to put pressure on this Maridon. And four cards is not a lot, but we've seen Fernando cash in on this once before. Can he do it again? Ah, this is tough here. It all comes down to this judge. This is so essential for both of our players. Four cards each, leaving it up to fate. A Lightning little bit. <laughs> sneaking through. Wow, Fernando Cifuentes as well. Let's see if it's another heads off this crushing hammer. No, it's going to be a tails this time. Slowing down a little bit here on uh, the Iron Thorns side, but hey, we still have the energy to be attached to this Iron Thorns EX in the active position. It's going to have to move it straight to the bench once again after that Volt Cyclone, but we are getting one step closer to taking these prize cards on Fernando's side and uh, putting Jesse Parker into a very difficult position. Ooh, look at that. Okay, Arvin potentially there to help out a couple lightning energies, and I believe that was the electric generator to go along with it. Yeah. Yes, this Maridon struggling a little bit here. Cannot attack this turn. Uh, it's an effect of the, the, uh, the, the photons, but maybe a way to move this Pokemon with the Arvin could help out a bit. Maybe a little bit here. We'll have to see. Arvin going to search out that tool card as well as an item card. Looking through the deck here, Jesse Parker just making sure to keep track of everything, all the resources that have already been used so far, because this has been several turns throughout this game where we've been moving nice and slow here on both sides. Switch card is found, though, from that Arvin from the deck. That's going to be the item card drawn out here for Jesse. Yeah, we see at least one energy in the discard pile, so there is potential yeah. where Squawkabilly could be a relevant attacker. There's also a world where Raikou could get aggressive in these spots and 
uh, start to work in the two hit knockout, but then you run into those issues with the penny. At this point though, we just need to see some energies and keep on churning. Yes, we need to see it once more for Jesse Parker. I didn't see anything there, Kyle. Hit two last time, but that's gonna be zero on this time Takes around. a quick look at the hands. All right, I still got some energy, but <laughs> yeah. I don't like this. We've uh, still see, seen three crushing hammers at this point, so yeah. just trying to dodge one more. And your opponent has two cards left in hands. Maybe they don't have the resources to continue attacking. So many things you have to consider when choosing which attacker is best in this spot. Do you soften up with the Squawk Billy? Do you attack with the Raikou? We're going to get aggressive here. Play all Ooh. your Pokemon. That's going to be it here. That Raikou coming into the active position for an attack here this time around. Found the Lost Vacuum. Could have been a very impactful card had it not been for the healing that we saw on the Mariah Dunny Hex. Actually would have lined up for a knockout with yeah. the removal of that bravery charm. Yeah, so. can you imagine the switch cards healing off up some damage there, making it pretty relevant to the matchup. But uh, yeah, that bravery charm is now gone here. <clears throat> Still All a valid right. play to just remove that. You don't want your opponent to continue to hang on to those additional hit points. And yeah. we are back to Judgetown once more. Four cards is not a lot. <laughs> Taking it down to Judgetown, Kyle. Let's see what happens. These are the exciting moments in these events where it comes down to just, oh, four cards that you get here. Can it be the cards that you need for either player? So let's take a look at these hands. Looking for energy. Oh, no. Oh, this could be a pickle here. Oh, it's just no. a pass. It's just a pass. No energy found for Fernando. We're over to Jesse Parker's side of the field now to uh, restabilize here and maybe turn the tables a bit. Not only taking a knockout, but also removing one of those precious double turbo energies. Ah, that's huge. It's so much more difficult to find in a deck like this. and. Oh boy, <laughs> you start to wonder, have the tables turned? Has Jesse found an opportunity here? Yes, this board is ridiculous, but it takes oh. knockouts and he's two prizes away from exactly. game one. Exactly, it's a two, two, two prize map here. That's the only option you have, but Jesse Parker is getting there. Two Iron Thorns EX down now. Only two prize cards left to take in this matchup. And Fernando being left here to try to pick up the pieces. We have an Iron Thorns EX in the active. We're working off an Iono now. That's going to be five cards. Can we see? Oh, and oh look at this. God. Finds the lightning energy instead of the double turbo, yeah. but the last crushing hammer. Oh, it is a heads this time around for Fernando. So Fuentes, so it's at least a little bit here. Going to remove that energy from that Raikou V. Slowly dwindling down those pieces there from Jesse Parker. So that's one more obstacle in the way. We're just going to have to and hard just attach. <laughs> Oh he finds the prime catcher, but yes, just the additional energy. It's all you need. Theme deck battle engage. <laughs> and oh my here's Raikou to take down another two hit opportunity. Look what is left in the hand? The next card was the double turbo. No way. The very next card. Just missing it there for Fernando. But now we have a heavily damaged Iron Thorns EX here. And Jesse Parker only has two prize cards left to take. What can Fernando do here? It's going to be the boss's orders on this Pheasantipity EX. I got bad news. There's 18 energy in Jesse's deck. He's got plenty of time. Woo! Look and at that. There is one. That's and that energy. means Jesse Parker's got game number one here in the top four. Exactly. That Pheasantipity needed to get out of that spot. We needed to knock out that Iron Thorn TX, and we were able to get there for Jesse Parker, slowly building those puzzle pieces, and we got to the final puzzle there, Kyle. The, uh, the end result, a game one win here for Jesse Parker in our top four match. That is so volatile. <laughs> so much could go wrong in that matchup for both players. Yeah. It's as simple as whiffing on a judge, finding the wrong cards off Iono, running into that hand that just cannot search out any other additional Pokemon, starting the Zapdos and it being knocked out as early as the earliest of the second turn there. So you have to think about all of these things together. Let's see how it all culminated in that opening game. Exactly. Quick replay here from that first game between our players. As you said, Kyle, that Zapdos started us out here and it was swiftly removed from the board. 
by Fernando. So that piece was gone there for Jesse Parker, but he was able to slowly get there. We saw the hit off that electric generator, the first one, uh, and then this first Iron Thorns went down, and that was just a little bit closer here, just a couple more to clean up. That Raiko came into play here, slowly ticking up that damage on the second Iron Thorns. We saw it go down, and Jesse Parker was able to clean things up in the end after a ton of just manual attachments, a little bit of luck on the electric generator, and not getting stuck off of all those judges. Yeah, this is quite a moment for both of our players. Salt Jesse Parker, uh, one more. Just one more. Fans. He's got his eye on the prize. Got to stay cool, calm, and collected. And remember, there's still an opportunity here to see plenty more cards. Your opponent plays four Pokemon in their deck. Exactly. Four Pokemon. We'll have to see if the Mulligans will be on Jesse Parker's side. But like you said, Kyle, cool, calm, collected, but energized. We need to be hitting some energy <laughs> off those electric generators yep. uh, as well. We need to have some good cards in the initial hands because it could get real spicy in the worst way possible if Jesse Parker is stuck with a very difficult hand in the beginning of this game, especially if Fernando is able to establish uh, the pieces needed early on to kind of protect the bench, not just leave a lone Pokemon in the active uh, as we've potentially seen uh, before. And... Yeah, we you know what I love? Goes. I love ah. Pokemon players, as we see in the most important game that both these players have ever been in. Fernando just doesn't hide what his basic Pokemon is, because everyone in the world knows what it is. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, everybody knows there's only four Pokemon in this deck here for Fernando. Still pretty funny to see here. <laughs> Let's take a look at these prize cards. Oh, no, look at that. Two electric generators and Ooh. two uh, lightning energy the in benefit the there, cards. Of course, down near the bottom, you <laughs> have that opportunity to draw into those. That's true. You have to take those first two prize cards. And goodness gracious, what's going on on the other side for Fernando? It's uh, yeah. a little awkward to see double research in there when mm -hmm. you've seen how important it is to draw additional cards and just continue that flow of hammers and energies. Yeah, that is a big piece there, having those hands to kind of put things together and then start disrupting your opponent if you have to with those other supporter cards. But two professors' research are going to remain in the prize cards until taken from Fernando's side. The starting Pokemon this time around, that iron bundle in the active here. We're going into the deck on this initial deck search for Jesse Parker off of this nest ball. They're not in the prize cards this time, Kyle. Yeah, you've got your Pokemon, but no energies to... to Move Yay. to them with those electric generators. Can't have it all, right? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't always work that way. One single nest ball. This could have led to a million different opportunities against any other deck, but yeah. instead it is, you're just an attacker right now. And that's yep. enough. That is. That is enough at this moment in time. That uh, Maridon EX being the one put down onto the bench from that nest ball for Jesse. Also, there was a quick look at all of the resources there, and Jesse has a lot of uh, a lot of experience now with this matchup. Not just the match we just played, but has played against it uh, throughout this tournament already uh, a, cu a couple of times here. So hoping to just get one more win here in our top four and be into the finals for tomorrow at Championship Sunday. Squawkabilly gonna come down, maybe help out a little bit throughout this match. And then we have the first manual attachment for Jesse Parker getting set up there on the board. Fernando, on the other hand, so let's take a look at this opening hand. It looks like some additional help this time around with the Techno Raider already there. So all the prize cards, <laughs> you're going to be staring at them immediately. Uh, three of these uh, Iron Thorns ready to roll. So we saw the basic lightning energy in hand as well. Supporter, there's a Poke Gear at least. So yeah, could get could us something. Find some additional resources, but. All in all, not a terrible turn to see from your opponent. Just a ride on energy. Crushing Hammer can handle that. Yeah, that is true. Crushing Hammer. There was no crazy pop off there, so things could still go in Fernando's favor. But having lost so many matches to Maridon, you got to just be hoping on hope that things turn around for you here if you're Fernando Cifuentes. But even just sitting here at our Masters Top 4 is huge right now for Fernando. So going to give it all that he's got, I'm sure. Techno Radar is going to help us out quite a bit here in our initial setup for Fernando. One more Iron Thorns EX joining the bench. That's going to be a target for the, the energy switching around, when, if we can even get there in the future. 
we see those Pokemon thinned out, and at this point, Pokegear finds the Arvin. But the hand, no crushing hammer. We do see the Pokemon catcher, so perhaps if ever threatened by the Maridon with an additional energy likely next turn. We've even seen players go after the Squawk a billion moments like this. I don't want to see any energy recovery from this. So a few options there, and you know what? <laughs> even though you don't have the hammer, you can go grab it right there with Arvin. Exactly, Arvin's gonna net us that hammer. Let's see the roll, can it be a heads? It is. First roll here and it's going Fernando's way. We're gonna discard that first energy off that Maridon EX. We're gonna have our own energy to put down onto this Iron Thorns EX. And then that Pokemon Catcher, not gonna be a heads this time around, but you know what else we have? A technical machine. And it this works time. this time. And it works. <laughs> yeah, it's not a broken CD anymore here for Fernando. We're gonna have the Turbo Energize. It allows this Iron Thorn EX to use this move on the technical machine. It learns a quick move and then it discards it. But it gets two basic energy cards onto your bench, and that is huge here for Fernando. We're not gonna see those turns uh, where you're just lacking the energy if Fernando can uh, say something about that. Exactly. These Pokemon will be lined up for future turns to go, and that pressure is so difficult for Jesse to consider at this point. His hand is going nowhere. It's nowhere. just basic energy attached. He's in the play lab trying to figure out what to do right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, trying to piece the cards together here for the deck at this point in time for Jesse Parker. We're going to see the Bravery Charm come down onto the Maridon EX. We're just playing anything at this point in time, but we have the energy. And uh, I mean, we saw what happened in the last one, and we're, we're struggling here, Kyle. <laughs> Jesse's over here saying, you give me three turns, and <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put you in a world of pain. Yes, exactly. Uh, if I, I just need a little bit of time here. <laughs> this Maridon EX is, just, is now a grandpa Maridon EX. Uh, <laughs> Back going in a my little day, bit slower. We used abilities. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fernando Sefuentes over here on this turn. Just going to be that manual attachment from Jesse Parker, taking things nice and slow. And Fernando able to pick up the pace a little bit. Pokey Gear netting us a penny. Yeah, penny. You think about all the resources that you can potentially could reuse in spots like this. There's no Zapdos available. Yes, if this Maridon does attack, it's stealing 220. But Penny just picks all that right back up. You can play it back down. You retain the energies. You keep on trucking. That's huge. That is huge. Just being 10 short there is pretty rough. But uh, well, that's what Fernando wants to see for oh, sure. So that's the one. Ooh, the capacity. The other Colrus. Yeah, the Colrus at home. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> but not you know at home what? in this deck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. This is the main Colrus in this deck because it helps this strategy so much. Allows you to get a stadium card and an energy card. And there's a pretty essential energy card that goes into this deck. Kyle, you know which one it is? Uh, that one. Yeah, that one right there. This guy. Double <laughs> doing turbo. Doing pretty good. <laughs> pretty good indeed. That double turbo energy coming down onto that Iron Thorn TX. We're going to see that Bolt Cyclone here moving that Lightning Energy onto the bench to Iron Thorn TX. But that's going to be the first prize card down within that Iron Bundle for uh, Fernando. Jesse Parker going to promote that Squawkabilly EX coming up into the active. The patience you have to have in moments like these. You find your second boss's orders in a hand that doesn't really need it. Motivating, slowing down, and you get one energy that you get to attach. But at this point, you're not putting on very much pressure. You're just hoping to amount to some comeback here. But Penny is going to just put up a wall at this uh, point. Yeah, we, we've been talking about this turn, Kyle. It's devastating to see if you're Jesse Parker. But that Penny just scooped up that Iron Thorns EX that was almost knocked out here. And then it's doing some knockouts of its own, taking out that Squawkabilly. Two more prize cards down for Fernando Sefuentes in this matchup. Could Jesse Parker be slipping that in is this game? so brutal. <laughs> Finds the Ultra Ball for Zapdos. Only energy available is the double turbo energy. Oh, no. So would have had Hitling. the exact <laughs> knockout, and instead is just going to be a little short. That's not good oh. here. Oh, 
You hate to see it, but that is all Jesse Parker can do. Swing into this Iron Thorns EX. It's not going to be enough to knock out. As you can see on our screen, it's holding on by just a little bit of HP here. But uh, Fernando is going to say, all right, I can work with this. Arvin to start off this turn. We have fully loaded, almost, almost fully loaded two Iron Thorns EX. We get this tool card in that future booster energy capsule that's going to allow for the retreat off the future here, Kyle. And on top of that, uh, yeah. we even have an earthen vessel. I'm looking into the future. <laughs> it's just looking a lot like game three, but we'll see if Jesse's top deck has anything to say about that. The additional energies come down here two Iron Thorns will be ready to attack in a spot like this, and that is devastating to see. Uh, the retreat will be coming in as well, and Oof. Mando is uh, riding smooth. Riding smooth. I guess you see how, it's exactly what you said, Kyle. This is so volatile here for Jesse Parker, and you're seeing that side of the volatility of this matchup. And, and just to put insult to injury, crushing hammer, luckily for Jesse Parker, it doesn't go through here. But still, look at the board state. He's having to stare down that Iron Thorns EX, swinging into this Maridon with that Volt Cyclone. We're one step closer to having things uh, looking even rougher here for Jesse Parker. If you could uh, imagine, Ultra Ball just going to have to discard that only other two cards in the hand, the Switch card, and another Ultra Ball just to get another Pokemon out. Oh, you have a pivot. It's true. I suppose that is a little bit helpful if you find a card like Research on the next turn. Maybe yeah. you can attack with this Pokemon, keep switching around with Switch cards, but this is a, this is a long shot. But that's what you have when you got 75 minutes yeah, and matchup like this. You might as well try. Yeah, exactly. There's still over 40 minutes on the clock here. Jesse Parker is going to bring out all the stops. Oh, no, awesome. that's a pink card. That was the top deck? Yep. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I think Brando's like, uh, do you want to be done now? <laughs> He's like, no, I'll see you one more turn. <laughs> yeah, look at that top deck indeed in that prime catcher. You can only have one A spec in your deck, and that is definitely one you want to see at this point in time. Just as the Mew came up, the Maridon is being promoted here for Fernando. Uh, that's ripe for the picking for this Iron Thorns EX to take out. Lines up so smooth and yeah, Iron Thorns brutal. looks unbeatable in spots like this. That is it's brutal. A wall that punches you in the face. That shouldn't be happening here. Look at all the Pokemon in the lost zone. Poor guys. What was that? I uh, know. They're gone. Three. That is game three, Kyle Fernando Cifuentes holding on to this top four match here. We're bringing it to a 1-1. One, one. We're into a game three. I, I, I think every single top four match I have had, Kyle, it goes to a game three. I'm glad. You should do this more often. <laughs> we, need, we need some hype over here. Yeah, that's true. That is so true. Well, Fernando Cifuentes, I'm sure feeling so good uh, I mean, think about the lore of having to face off against Maridon. Those were your two losses leading up to this point. But now you have a one win in this match set against it. Both of these players are just one more game away from being a finalist here and potentially taking it all down in our World Championships of 2024. At Jesse Parker, the final boss, undefeated all the way through day one into day two. The final match here, tied one to one. And Fernando with an opportunity to take down the man who took him down to open up yeah. his day. One game away. Uh, I hate to bring it back to this point, Kyle, but the Mulligans, the Mulligans. They're, like, honestly, they are a it's a very game real thing to look for. It's been impressive that it's only been won a few times. Exactly. Let's take a look at game two, as this was a, a, a pretty great showing of the capability of Iron Thorns. Just yeah. continuing to Volt Cyclone over and over and over again. It ain't much, it but is it's honest, honest work. work. <laughs> it takes out Squawkabillies. They fly left and right. The only turn where Jesse has an opportunity to cash in on some cool things he finds an opportunity to get the Zapdos and has the double turbo. And there's the pink guy, Prime Catcher, off the top of the deck to knock out that Maridon. And that is just brutal. Jesse finds his own top deck, Prime Catcher, but it was not nearly as cool. Uh, not nearly as cool at all, but you see the smiles here from Fernando, probably from both our players here, because 
You know what? You try your best in these pivotal matchups. You give it all that you have, but sometimes the cards are just not falling in your favor. We're still at a 1 1 here between our no players. No way. What? The what Mulligans are over. How does this what? How does this keep happening? Fernando getting lucky? He's the light shining down? Game three? <laughs> Game three? Just wow. Like, can not I even have a single some Mulligan. Help. Not even a single Mulligan? Zero Mulligans. Game three. Wow. Four basic Pokemon in this whole deck. Four Pokemon. That is incredible. We have 45 trainer cards in this deck. Is that a lot? Yeah, that's a lot. That's quite a bit there. Uh, <laughs> I would say give it a percentage, but we don't talk about percentages anymore, <laughs> Kyle. That's right. After that community. Oh, time. what are the percentages of this? We've got prize cards coming in, and they're not pretty. Oh, well, we have the fist bump here. We're kicking off this game three in our second top four match. One of these players will be a finalist in our world championships facing off tomorrow. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be Jesse Parker? with that Maraid on EX, or is Fernando gonna step in his way? I'll tell you what is stepping in his way. Three electric generators. The power is out. <laughs> the power is so We're out. We're in a lot of trouble over here in Parker Town. No. What? The the Iron Thorns EX, I think, just uh, just absolutely led to, I don't know, the- It took down the whole grid. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> like, it blew this the surge protector. This is a devastating <laughs> opening surge. For Jesse. Awful. Yes, you found the nest ball. Really helpful. Uh oh, <laughs> you're gonna find out some information. Yeah, that is absolutely brutal here for Jesse. Looking through the deck on this initial search, gonna see that there are several electric generator missing here. But uh, can we potentially pull something out? What were the prize cards on the other side? Anything? Anything brutal? Not nearly as wow, bad. That uh, is a double turbo energy, a crushing hammer, certainly of, yeah. cards that you can uh, be a little upset about on the initial search, but. Both the I, coin flip cards on the bottom too, I, yeah. they'll help out. I don't think this is as nearly as disruptive as it is no, for Jesse. Not at all. That is brutal to see. He's, Sometimes he's that's how it. it's chalked up. Yeah, you see that that only electric generator. I feel like Jesse's sorting through like this cannot be happening right now. This is game three of the Masters top four and I'm staring down one electric generator here in a matchup that that is awful. I mean, it's awful in any matchup, but especially this one when you're lacking that uh, those cards and that energy attachment that you need so desperately when the Iron Thorns EX deck is built to disrupt you over and over and over again, discard your energies. And then if you're not able to get them back, what are you supposed to do? That's where we're at at this point. Searches out, I believe, the Zapdos now. And yes, we have the Zapdos. Maridon is in the hand as well. That was the uh, the issue that we had at the beginning of the game. Which Pokemon do you want to start with? Starts with Iron Hands, even though it has a million retreat cost. It does. You want to preserve the hit points on that Maridon. Slowly set up this Pokemon and maybe work your way to the one-hit knockout in combination with Zapdos and Lightning Symbol. But how do you do it with one generator? Exactly. Uh, that's This is just devastating, Kyle. Uh, I hope it doesn't come down to just the prize cards. I'm still believing here in Jesse Parker. Hopefully we can see something happen on the left side of our field here so it can be a good game to remember. Maridon EX is going to have that lightning energy be attached here. We're slowly, slowly going, but we'll have to see what Fernando has to say now. That iron. A big turn. Pokemon Catcher, if you can target down Zapdos and take a knockout early on, it's that is worse. huge. Even worse for Jesse if that happens. And we've seen it uh, happen before already from Fernando. All right. In our original game. So there's a chance, I suppose. There is a chance. There is a chance. The course's tenacity here being played for Fernando, searching out that stadium card and that essential energy on the other side within that do double turbo. Fernando with the single iron thorns in play. No additional Pokemon. We see the Zapdos, you see the Maridon. Yes, the attack is available, but if this is the end of the turn, just a simple attack, yeah. maybe Jesse's top deck could lead to some help. Let's see what it is. That's oh, fair. Oh my goodness, that is not helpful whatsoever. That's probably one of the least helpful cards, actually. Uh, it's just the Blood Moon Ursa Luna. At least we have the energy to slowly be charging up here. We haven't seen as much disruption oh, as we could. Oh, top see. deck. 
Wow. It's found, and that is so brutal. You can tell just from Jesse's mannerisms. Ooh, that was a brutal gosh. find, and here it goes. Oh my gosh, it is going indeed. Kyle Fernando getting that Iron Thorns EX off the top deck. Now we're going into a Professor's Research for seven. Rushing cards. Hammer and, and Pokemon look Catcher. It. Look at it. Oh, it's wow. a head. Finds the heads on the Pokemon Catcher. It's so brutal. The Zapdos being brought up into the active. This is exactly Can he get the heads on the Crushing oh. Hammer? Oh, oh it did. No. Fernando Cifuentes, the light He's is got another. Down. Oh, my gosh. I would have freaked out, Kyle. That is crazy to see, but this is absolutely bananas, Kyle. I mean, the Crushing Hammer, the Zapdos Both in the Both of their hands are here. just lightning energies. Here we go. Oh. Oh my gosh, the Zapdos into the Lost Zone now. That Lost City, of course, in play. It's gone forever here. Jesse Parker, just the Raikou up front. What did we get off the top of the Ultra deck? Ball, it doesn't help. <sighs> just that energy. You have to continue to just charge up the Maridon and hope to find a research top deck. It's just one copy. My goodness. <sighs> yeah, Jesse Parker shuffling the cards here. You have to think. He is undefeated at this point, and all that's standing in his way from going into a championship Sunday is this Iron Thorns EX. We're just attaching another energy here. That's all we can do if we're on Jesse Parker's side. This. And now Fernando just going to potentially take it away. Oh, it is going to be a Tails here. That's at least what Jesse Parker wants to see. But that boss's orders is going to bring that Maridon EX. It already has two energy, but now it's going to be damaged by this Iron Thorns. EX with another Bolt Cyclone. This is brutal, Kyle. Yep, these Pokemon just continue to switch back and forth. Cyclones left and right. The last card in hand is the Lightning Energy. So he can attack with any which Pokemon he pleases. And it's taken knockouts at this point. You see the issues, but for a Seal Stone, hang on a second. Do we have some Ryko. Yeah, we do have There's the There's life. That's our V card that gives it a V star power here off of a tool card, of course. Ultra Ball, the consideration now. Force Steel Stone would lead to seven cards, most likely that Professor's Research maybe run into that one generator. Arvin seems a little slow in a spot like this. Yeah. I know. It, it only gets you so much. As you can. Exactly. It only gets you so much. Jesse Parker's going to have to make this difficult decision here. That forest seal stone. Thank goodness we got to something, though, Kyle. Right. <laughs> Tell you that much. I, we needed this. <laughs> yes, we did absolutely need this at this point in time. But it is, it is not an easy, easy decision here for Jesse Parker. Fernando already has taken a prize. You see two uh, Pokemon you know, that will give up two prize cards, yeah. ready to be knocked out once more. So Squawkabilly, yes, it's added into the mix, but you have to consider if this Maridon is knocked out, which it likely will be Definitely. fairly soon, you have to bring those energies back to have one final stand. Yeah, you're on a timer here, and if you're going at this pace that Jesse Parker is going right now, and uh, with the draws we've been having, it's not gonna look good here, but we do have this professor's research now, and let's see if we can get somewhere here for Jesse Parker to start turning things around. Suppose, as you'd expect in a spot like this, the generator is not found. Yes, has a couple additional basic lightning energies to work with. Just have to keep on performing these actions in a spot like this. Hopefully, the damage starts to compile. Maybe deal 220 damage. And Clean up with a squawk ability. Yeah. Find some help. I know this is just this is tough here, but Jesse Parker gonna bring out everything that Mew EX at least having that pivot option on the bench now. You know, here. Mateen at some point too. Yeah, There's true. There's a world where this Pokemon could be incorporated into the attacking. Well, it's gonna be the energy attachment here for Jesse. It's like debating whether or not to put it on to the squawk ability. Oh. Dealing 20 or dealing 220 at this point, Penny destroys you either way. So exactly. You cash in on that damage, clean up with squawk ability later on. If it does stick around, you need things like this to go your way, especially when your opponent has such a low hand. 
maybe they don't have the resources. Yeah, you're kind of hoping on hope here right now if you're Jesse Parker. That not dealing enough damage here to take out that Iron Thorns EX. And now Fernando having that Arvin going to search out the Pokey Gear 3.0 as well as one of those tool cards in the Turbo Energize. So many prize cards available at this point for Fernando. He can take out the main threat, the only threat that we see from Jesse in that Maridon. Yeah, the only threats. I know, you hate to see it. And usually it doesn't go like this either, Kyle. It, it, it's really tragic to see how this is, uh, is faring for the Maridon. But that Iron Thorns EX continuing to put this pressure on. That's another knockout and into the loss zone for the Maridon. Fernando Cifuentes advancing even further in this match. Only three prize cards left to take here and Jesse Parker is up against the wall quite literally with these Iron Thorns EX. There's at least a heavily damaged one on the bench here, but there's still play into that as well if you're Fernando for the future turns. But what are we working with here now? We have the Arvin and that's going to get us some resources for Jesse Parker. Yeah, it looked like there was the energy for Motivate in combination with Boss's orders to take a knockout. Okay. Arvin chose as the the supporter of choice. Yeah, that's um, way interesting there, I guess, from, from Jesse Parker. But Arvin is going to be the card played instead here. So that's uh, the healthy Iron Thorns EX is still in the active position for Jesse at this point in time. Bravery Charm coming out thanks to that Arvin tool card as well. And that is the only electric generator here until Jesse Parker has access to some prize cards. There is one electric generator on the bottom here, but we have to get there to get to it. And Jesse Parker, uh, like you said, Kyle, choosing not uh, the Arvin for the supporter there is kind of brutal. Yeah, I, I, I mean, c clearly you want to find some energies in a spot like this. Yeah. Motivate guarantees it. Yes, you give up those prize cards, but... <laughs> Need some help. It finds one energy. You have a second energy in hand, so attacking with yeah. Ryko is available. That is true. Look, looking to decide all of these energies being attached to the board are so crucial here. We are going to see Ryko get that uh, energy from the electric generator. That is our only electric generator that we're working with until Jesse can get some prize cards here. The uh, lightning energy that's in the hands can also be placed for the turn for that energy for turn. And Jesse Parker's just shuffling up right now and trying to figure out where this matchup is gonna go from here. Hoping on hope that something can happen, but it's just gonna be, uh, I mean, that hand, what else is even in that hand? Yeah, not it's much. A bunch of Pokemon. See plenty of uh, Pokemon with abilities, a bravery charm and a boss's orders along with that final lightning energy in the hand to work with. You play that onto Squawk Billy and yeah. get some energies down, but Attacking 20 damage into this Pokemon doesn't feel nearly as great as the other. As I suppose the, uh, you yeah. do have Iron Bundle, so you can cash in on this now. Oh, we forgot about the Iron Bundle. That has its ability there, Kyle. It does help. It's helping the team. But, but at this point, you're motivating whom? Yes, that is true. That is true indeed. You're trying to motivate yourself to get through this match, I suppose. And that's what it's going to be, the motivates here from Jesse Parker. This works. You get the energies. Uh, and look, we're going to see some prize cards. I, that's important. I like this. I think they're <laughs> supposed to go here. You, you work towards the genome hacking. There we go. I suppose one awkward spot is when you commit to the non-lightning Pokemon and you find it an electric generator. He's yeah, that's find oh energy. my gosh, that's so true, actually. That is so true. The electric generator, it does, it electrifies those lightning Pokemon, but Mew EX is not a lightning Pokemon. It does have utility, but cannot utilize that electric generator. Penny in the window, does he do it? Yeah, does he do it, Pokey Gear? <laughs> All right, there we go. Don't we play it. Yeah, yeah, don't play it right now, no. <laughs> 
Not like this, but hey, we do still have a penny now, at least in the hands here for Fernando. What else are we working with, Kyle? Did you get a look at uh, the cards for yeah, Fernando? Yeah, we saw here? Pokemon Catchers, Boss's Orders in hand too, so as long as you don't play an additional Pokemon down, you don't have to worry about continuing to find the right energies to take knockouts. And That's true. Might as well throw down another. You have a knockout lined up on Squawk Ability, that weakness. Yeah. You see those two additional prize cards. We're getting close oh, we're over getting here. So close. You're just trying to uh, to get through here. Literally one prize card away for Fernando Cifuentes to take things down here in our game three Masters top four match. Jesse Parker on the other side promoting that Mew EX. It does have two lightning energy attached. We're going back into the deck now. All right, we've got to think about some math in the spot like this. Like, suppose you find the, the switch cart, and you can defend that iron hands with the Arvin. You retreat to this Pokemon, you can switch back to it, but do you have an attack this turn? True. Yeah, Jesse Parker. This is truly, I'm on the edge of my seat, Kyle. It's all coming down to this here, what Jesse Parker chooses to do. They right found, now on this turn. He found the generator and committed the energies to the Mew. And in this spot, exactly. I guess you wanted him on the Iron Hands. Exactly. I know that one electric generator finally off the prize cards, but now the energy is on that Mew EX. And you're still facing off with uh, a lot of pressure there from Fernando as well. Oh, not nearly... Enough damage from the Raikou. The Lightning Rondo, maybe a potential Pokemon that you attack with. Here is a little more draw looking for that Lightning Energy. Oh, yeah, Electric here we go. Electric Generator, can it Electric help? Electric Generator. Oh, I didn't see it. It looked like a nod there and still looking at it. So that's one. That's one. All right, it's just going to be one here onto that Raikou V. That's on the bench here right now. That is the electric generator gone now. The one retrieved off the prize cards as well as that Maridon EX coming off the prize cards too. It's joining the bench here now for Jesse, but we still have that Mew EX. Just two energy on it. None for the turn, unfortunately, for Jesse Parker. All right. Math says play one more Pokemon on your bench with the retreat switch card preservation of the hit points on the Iron Hands, dealing 100 damage with the Raikou, gives you that opportunity for a top deck lightning energy attacking with genome hacking. And doing everything it. you can here, Jesse. Absolutely everything here. That switch cart healing up that Iron Hands EX just a bit there, protecting it. Raikou going to come into the active position now to get that damage down onto that Iron Thorns EX, leaving it up to Fernando to respond. But all of the stops have been brought out from Jesse Parker's side, trying to hold on to this finalist spot here, or in a spot into the World Championship Masters Finals. And Fernando going to have this turn here. Let's see what we got. What was the top deck? Another Arvin. Iron Thorns wow. is in hand. So the Pokemon are available for Fernando. But does he have to avoid knockouts in spot like this? Does he just exactly. incorporate the penny and play slower? Hide for a little while? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming up with... Uh, Difficult decisions here on both sides of the field. They have to identify all of these uh, optimal turns that they could potentially take. And there's still a lot of resources here. It's going to be the boss's orders, though. You know what? I've seen you switch a lot. There's yeah. plenty of Ooh, hit points. Very true. Uh, plenty of retreat cost there. Let's attack. See if you don't have the resources. If you don't, this is a great spot. But Jesse does have another window here. Yeah, another window. Just going to be that Volt Cyclone here, putting that double turbo onto the bench. Iron Thorns oh. EX. Jesse Parker. Oh. Iron Hands, you're too big. It's got four, four retreat retreats. cost. Four retreat the, costs. And, uh, the Pokemon are there. The re the, oh. You have the, the Pokemon in play. You could bench one more. You could it's, attack, oh but it's God. just the best. Wow. Penny's there. It's over. <laughs> Fernando Cifuentes has found it. I cannot believe that just happened, Kyle. Fernando Cifuentes 
Fans has a huge group of supporters here rushing up to the stage. The opportunity to compete against an undefeated player here in our top four at the 2024 World Championships and is taking it down with Iron Thorns EX. I am astonished. That is the uh, result of this matchup. This was not on my bingo card. <laughs> no, it was not. But here we are, undefeated, no more. Jesse Parker falls to the Iron Thorns. The same Thorns that he has knocked out time wow. and time again. The same matchup that Fernando has faced over and over in this tournament. The one he has not accomplished. And until just now has found victory in the most optimal time the victory that gets him to the championship uh yeah that's that is uh incredible kyle absolutely incredible fernando Cifuentes coming back to our stage in top four and taking things down into the finals tomorrow for our championship sunday let's see how he earned his spots here now in this uh these three games yeah i mean game one we saw there was a very firm understanding Zapdos is a threat. You cannot deal with one-hit knockouts. And continue to remain in this game. So targeted that Pokemon down early, but Jesse had some help. He motivated the troops. He found plenty of energies in this game, and he continued to attack with just about any Pokemon that would join him in this fight. Yeah, anything. We were searching for anything there. And, uh, yeah. We got there uh, for Jesse Parker in this game one here, up a game, and then on the back foot going into this game two. Uh, there weren't that mel many mulligan. I think there was like one or one. mulligan. Yeah, one mulligan here to work off of, and we saw the effects of that. Just uh, not getting the cards needed, and Fernando, on the other hand, having these head splits constantly, that Zapdos going down once again, um, this is our game three. Yeah, this could have been the most disrespectful turn we've ever seen if this yeah. hammer Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Did not, but it was still plenty of uh, issues that we saw there as the Zapdos goes into the lost zone. And Jesse was dealing with the worst prize cards we've seen in quite a long time. The triple electric generator, nothing to work with. Found a pretty cheeky play here at the end with the, the Iron Bundle, take the knockout, motivate once more, but where do you commit your energies? Mew was a great target if you could find some energies from the deck, but it was the electric generator that was found, and instead Raiko had to be the main attacker to close out in a game where Fernando had all of the momentum. Oh, yeah, Fernando had all of the pieces there to chalk things up with a win in this final game. The penny goes down, and that is it here. Fernando taking the win in our top four, heading into a championship Sunday tomorrow here at the World Championships. That was that was something else. I'll tell it, you what. It sure <laughs> this was. is going to be a crazy World Championships finals for the Masters division. Yep. Two very young players are going to be in the finals of our championship and exactly. it is well earned on both sides. Maybe some unpredicted decks that we see in this finals. I know certainly I didn't have them on any no. of my predictions. <laughs> Roaring Moon and Iron Thorns EX. I cannot believe it, but that's what we're going to be seeing tomorrow in our Masters finals. Latin America facing off against Japan as well. Some incredible regions coming out to the World Championships and proving uh, they're, why they're here. They're going to be in our finals tomorrow, so they're going to have to go back to their hotel rooms. Don't do too much celebrating because you still have one more game before you're a world champion. But wow, what an incredible way to uh, to end our day two here, Kyle. Yeah, that was that was crazy. And 